Hello and welcome to this contest capture tutorial. In today's video, we will learn about the ground extraction feature that is available in contest capture 2023. To demonstrate the feature, I will use this project that has already been processed with a first error triangulation and a reconstruction and the production of a reality mesh and a point cloud. You can see the resulting reality mesh in the 3D view. That's a corridor for which we want to extract only ground points. The results of the ground extraction job in Codis Capture is a classified point cloud in multiple formats for which we have two classes, ground and non-ground. This can be further used in third-party applications to create the terrain. You can initiate the ground extraction process from a reality mesh or a point cloud. Just look at the workflow buttons and spot the extract ground button. The extract ground button will be enabled for productions of point cloud in OPC and POD formats and for reality mesh of 3SM and 3MX formats. So let's go back to our reality mesh production and start the ground extraction process by clicking on the extract ground button. You will first be prompted with the choice of the ground detector. For now, we only have one detector that is applicable to most drone surveys. So you can just use the default one and press create. This will create a new item in the analysis section of the project tree view named ground extraction one. You have multiple tabs. The first one is the overview when you can see the status of your production. In the settings tab, you will be able to adjust the settings. The most important one here will be the region of interest in case you want to extract ground only in a sub area of your project. You can use the region of interest tool to draw a polygon to extract terrain only in this specific area. Similar to the tool in the reconstruction spatial framework, you will draw the polygon and press accept when completed. For this particular project, I will just discard this region of interest and we will do the ground extraction on the entire area. So I'll just press the clear button here. Now that I am all set, I can just go to the workflow buttons and press submit. I am now prompted with the outputs I want to generate. Uh, the outputs are segmented point clouds. So OPC and context scene are mandatory for display purposes. And we can then produce LAS, LED and POD formats. I can select the special reference system in which I want my data to be produced and press submit. The processing is then picked up by an engine. So make sure that you have a contest capture engine running. And similar to a production, you'll be able to review the processing status with the different milestones, the running tasks and the progress bar. The ground extraction process is generally pretty fast. In this example, I have extracted the ground in about one minute for a project that contains 600 photos. So now we can have a look at the results. Just go to the result tab to display the results. Here you have multiple layers. The rate image is displayed and on top of it, you have the classified point clouds with two colors, the purple for ground points and blue for non-ground. To help with quality assessment, you can use the layers tool to adjust what you want to see on screen. You can toggle the reality mesh on and off. And for the analysis, you can choose which classes you want to display on screen. In this tech preview, there are no editing capabilities for the point cloud classification. So you will have to rely on third party applications to adjust it if necessary. 
once you're happy with your results you can just uh, press the folder button here to open the production folders where you will find the different outputs you've generated thank you very much for following this tutorial and we'll be happy to hear any feedback you have on this new feature so we can further improve it later on thank you